hello everyone uh, let's solve the problem check if two chessboard squares have the same color so it has given in the lead code contest 413 so in this problem right first we will understand the question clearly then we will observe the pattern then we will dry run few scenarios and finally we will see the coding part so for better understanding please watch the video till the end so here uh, you are given a two strings coordinate 1 and coordinate 2 representing the coordinates of a square on an 8 cross 8 chessboard he is saying that it will be 2 coordinates below is the chessboard for the reference and he has given the chessboard we need to return true if these 2 squares have the same color or else false he is saying that he will give the 2 coordinates c1 and c2 if these both the coordinates contain the same color then we will return true or else we will return false the coordinate will always represent a valid chessboard square. We are saying that coordinates is always a valid one, right? The coordinates will always have the letter first and the number second. First we will have the letter, then we are going to have the number. So it's going to follow this. So this is a question, right? I think you have got the question. So we will observe. Now if you see here, uh, consider 8 cross 8 grid, consider 8 cross 8 grid and uh, replace a with 1, b with 2. So these are all my values. I have replaced it. Simple, right? If you are doing a minus a plus 1, then you are going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, these values. Or b minus a plus 1, you will get 2. For c, you will get 3. Or these values. I will replace it with this. Now if you observe, 1 plus 1 is even, right? 1 plus 1 is even. And it's printed with, it's printed with black with black 3 plus 1 even black 5 plus 1 even black 7 plus 1 even black okay then if you see here 2 plus 2 now if you see this is 2 plus 2 yes still it is black and 4 4 plus 2 black and 6 plus 2 8 which is even black so all the even cells are black and all the odd cells are white all cells are white so what i will do is this is my coordinate 1 and this is my coordinate 2. I will do modulo and if both the modulos are equal, that means I will do percentile 2. If both are 0 or both are 1, then I will return true. If their modulos are not equal, I will return false. It's simple, right? It's simple. So try to code by yourself. Uh, I think you have tried the coding part. Now let's see the coding part. It's simple. What we will do? C1 of 0 minus A. As we can see here, we are doing minus A. So we are representing with zeros, 0, 1, 2, 3 or 0, 1, 2, 3 or anything you can start because it's a subtraction, right? Then we are doing C1 of 1 minus 0. That means we will get the, well, if you are having 1 as my string, if you are subtracting it from the ASCII value like 1 minus 1. So this is my ASCII value. This is this will give my ASCII value 0 and this is my, this is my 1. So if I subtract it, we will get the coordinate if both percentiles are equal if both percent are equal we will return 1 or else we will return 2 so here your time complexity will be order of 1 and we are we are not using any extra space so it's same it's order of 1 so i hope you have learned something new so if you learn something new please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe i will see you in the next video till then bye bye